Hey guys, Jay Smith here with you. I'm not standing under this part of the home just to protect me from the rain. I'm actually here for a reason that's not so good. You'll find out what that is in this episode of Say What. Words. They can be typed, written, spoken, and they are even in our favorite songs. They have been used by many leaders to hurt as well as heal. We use many words today and we really don't know their true origins. Some of the words we use on a daily basis have origins rooted in death, violence, sex, drug use, even spices like common table salt. Etymology is the study of where words come from and it is my passion. I have visited many countries and I've learned a lot during my travels. I do the research, I travel off the beaten path, and I search wherever I need to to bring you the meaning of words that you've never imagined. I am Jason Smith, and this is Say What. Say What! Militaries across the world have done it. Regular, everyday people do it all the time. It's fueled from a deep curiosity that's inside almost every human being. Somewhere, at some point in time, most people have tried to listen to a conversation that they were not invited to participate in. It can be a nosy neighbor, a spouse that suspects infidelity, or even a foreign spy. The art of trying to hear other people's conversations is one that is very old. Today on Say What? The word eavesdrop. Well, the etymology is going to be pretty easy on this one. The word has Old English and Germanic origins, and its first use in literature was recorded in 1606. The first part of the word is a feature that you'll find on most homes. The eave is where the roof ends and hangs over the edge of the home. It's the part where your gutters are. The second part of the word, drop, refers to the drop-off point of the roof and where rainwater drops from the home. In 17th century England, homes were built so close together that all the town gossips had to do was position themselves under the eave of your home to hear all of your family business. Say what? After these busybodies listened to your private conversations, I'm sure that in no time the king, the church, and even the town drunk knew about your personal affairs. Hey, it makes you think, not much has really changed today, has it? Well, there you have it. The next time you hear the word eavesdrop, just remember that it came from the place where some people would stand to exercise their God-given right to be nosy and listen in on your most intimate and personal conversations. Thanks for watching another episode of Say What? Man, they're talking about me. I knew it. Hey, you. If you like Say What, please don't forget to like and subscribe and continue to support the channel. Thank you.